Hi friends, welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Gurmeet Kaur, and today we are going to talk about. I hope you are getting what I am talking about. Look at these. Today I am going to talk about. This beautiful lilies, guys. Yes, these are all rain lilies. I hope after seeing the pic itself, you have understood that these are the gorgeous rain lilies. And it. And now I'll show you something. Look at these, guys. Look at these. Ah, so beautiful, aren't they? Look at these so many rain ladies I've got today and today I'm going to share all the tips and tricks to show how to grow these rain lilies. So stay with me guys stay tuned till end of the video so that you don't miss how to grow this beautiful beautiful lily see how the bee is hovering. Look at that. So guys in these rain lilies you can find many many colors guys but it does a uh, this uh, is a very common color that is pink color and uh, you will also find these white colors but i also have uh, another colors like uh, as you can see this is peach color it uh, bloomed yesterday uh, you can see this see? and again uh, i also have yellow color of lilies guys uh, that was there actually see this here the bud uh, it bloomed two to three days back rain is here and these started blooming guys look at this this is a yellow color one so uh, so i have around three co four colors in these uh, rain lilies as you can see see these rain lilies how we grow the rain lilies and what happens after that i'll just show you so guys coming to the rain lilies they only bloom during the rainy season and why is that because of the moisture of the rain and the rain water guys these these bloom only with the help of the rain water so if you want these to grow in the other seasons also you have to store the rain water yes that is little important okay but these this rainy season you can totally enjoy them as you no need to worry you can just keep them in the rain okay so so these guys how we grow these so there are many uh, tips so coming to the soil mixture see what kind of a soil i have taken these guys these are tropical region plants and uh, you know uh, these grow nearby the lake and uh, uh, where the more rain falls those kind of region plants these are more those kind of lilies these are you can find more uh, in the humid uh, kind of areas so uh, and uh, oh my god look at the bees coming in oh my god so those kind of areas okay so the soil mixture it has to be you know uh, but these lilies how they grow they grow with the help of the bulbs guys so as we put uh, this bulb with the help of the bulbs guys bulb will be of this size so you have to uh, whenever we put the bulbs according to the bulb only we have to prepare the soil as i'm telling you they grow with the help of the bulbs so for bulbs we need a well drained soil guys because these bulbs they tend to rot if you put something in a soggy soil so but these also like the moisture in the soil so yes we have to uh, make accordingly so what kind of a soil mixture can we make uh, i'll be like uh, i have put in uh, soil mixture is like a uh, red uh, soil what i have here grows garden soil normally and um, i also have put a little bit sand guys as i told you it has bulbs so i have put my sand and it is a you know uh, it is not that heavy feeder but yes in the growing season you have to feed this plant so i have put a good number of like 30 percent of wormy compost in this and cocoa peat guys so i have prepared this soil in last year uh, i'll also tell you i'll also talk about the bulbs guys don't worry so so this kind of a soil mixture you should make garden soil like a uh, 40 percent of garden soil then little bit of coco peat and uh, uh, sand you need to put around 20 percent and 30 percent of vermicompost something like that so this kind of soil mixture if you prepare for this soil then it is a uh, well and good for this uh, 
plants you can see see how the weed is growing in this oh my god non-stop as this rain starts the weed also starts growing so try to remove these kind of weeds in from your plant okay so that is a soil mixture guys so coming to the watering as i have already told you this these rain lilies they grow with the rain water only so it's not like they get uh, dried up or something in without the rain water it's not like that yes but they grow normally the whole this as you can see see this plant this is having this beautiful grass when you sow a rain lilies you'll be getting this grass kind of leaves and these leaves also look very beautiful from distance guys but in the rainy season you'll find these lilies coming out of this and this is a growing season from summer to rainy season this is a growing season guys in winter it will go dormant so uh, and but you should not water it regularly i mean the, if it is in the rain and if it is rain but don't water it when the soil is uh, totally wet so uh, yeah it likes the moist soil because see when the soil becomes dry they become little lifeless they become dry and as you can see see these leaves how they have dried up here so these uh, they tend to dry up if you don't water them regularly guys so you have to water them regularly okay and uh, mostly in the summer uh, in the growing period they will be asking water every day guys you can see the soil will be completely dried up in a day okay so uh, that is a uh, watering guys so it also depends upon your area i cannot tell if you are somewhere uh, living in a region where it is very very humid then you have to um, just check the soil just put your finger in the soil like this and if your finger is coming wet like this till one to two inch then you should not water it and if not you can just water the plant okay at least like one inch it should be dried guys then only you have to water this plant okay so that is coming to watering and as i told you if you are like willing to have blooms on this flower and if you want to see the bloom then you have to store the rain water and pour it in this just one mug will be enough for this plant guys see it had rain just recently in hyderabad and you can see the uh, lilies guys they are so beautiful very very beautiful this you can see how beautifully they are growing but they also grow hmm when the bulbs mature i'll also tell all these things when i talk about the bulbs okay let's go to the sunlight guys so coming to the sunlight this plant needs complete whole day of sunlight guys if you put it in on your terrace or wherever you get loads of sunlight as you know the if the plant is flowering means it is all because of the sunlight only so if you want more and more number of flowers like these then you have to put it in the sunlight okay if you are uh, you know, growing it in uh, some place where it is um, doesn't it is not getting the sunlight then guys i'm sorry you won't be getting the flowers you have to shift it in a place where it has lot of sunlight okay so uh, Sun, uh, in the summer if, when the like uh, in the places like uh, rajasthan or delhi uh, what happens is uh, it is very harsh the sunlight is very very harsh so in those places you can put it in the uh, shade area in the afternoon because at that time you won't be having these blooms because there is no rain water with us right so so at that time in the, you can just put it in like 2 to 3 hours of sunlight in the morning and the evening and you can put it in uh, in the afternoon you can just move it to the shaded area so that it will uh, these the grass uh, what i'm saying these leaves they won't burn like this okay look at this Oh, it looks very, very beautiful. When we see all this, right? So coming to the, I just get carried away. I'm so sorry. So, uh, yeah, what I was saying. So coming to this uh, bulbs, right, guys? Yes, we'll talk about the bulbs now. So these bulbs, these are, uh, these are onion shape, like small onion. How we have this, this much shape. 
uh, size of uh, bulbs they will be having i bought it in amazon if you want i'll share the link below you can just uh, click on it and you can buy it and uh, so from there i have bought and it's been guys one more thing of flowering you have to keep in mind that flowering of the maturity of the bulb is really important so whenever you are buying a bulb try to see that it is mature enough see that the sprout is already coming out okay so uh, you have to see that if the uh, leaves have come out those kind of bulbs they will uh, you know propagate easily and maybe in that year you will be having rain lilies but trust me guys this is like i've been waiting for this video for one year now because i was not getting uh, these many flowers that is because as i told you i bought it from amazon and it is online and we cannot see whether it has sprouted or not so if you are getting some bulbs in your nurseries please go and get it from there uh i think uh, they'll be easily available in these days now so what happens is when you buy online we cannot say whether they are uh, that or not uh, so that is the thing so when i have placed i have uh, uh, like bought around uh, uh, 12 bulbs i guess guys 12 bulbs i bought i think from in this if i if i remove there'll be around 24 bl bulbs now so uh, it has doubled in the size and uh, like it will be doubling like that guys uh, from one bulb you can uh, uh, you'll be having more and more it will be in one pot itself it will grow more and more bulbs okay so like that so like onions what i told you like onions only it will be growing okay so it has doubled in the number of bulbs and even the size of the bulb will be growing and even when you have put it in this you have to whenever you are planting a bulb guys try to plant it little deeper let the sprout be up like this you have to proud when the leaf the pointed part should come up then you have to planted and the bulb round part should go inside the soil like that you have to plant it so the sprouts can come out of the pointed area okay from there the sprouts comes out so you have to uh, like that you have to pot it as try to pot it in little deeper uh, you have to always pot you have to see the size of the bulb if if it is of 1 inch size then you have to put it in the 2 inch deeper guys you have to double the size of the bulb you have to put it in that much deep one uh, how much deep you put that that many flowers you can expect and that many bulbs you can just uh, thing uh, like uh, you can expect to grow in uh, season so why i waited for one uh, one year for this video because my bulbs they were not mature enough guys when i got it from amazon they were not mature enough i planted them i waited for the flowers for 6 months around like when i planted and only one to two flowers only i got i was really really disappointed that i am not getting flower but one friend uh they suggested that i need to wait for that uh, because i have also seen in some places they are growing very very nicely so uh, i also know about rajnigandha also does the same thing it also doesn't bloom if the bulb is not mature enough so you have to wait for that guys and you have to start fertilizing it in summer itself so when the rain falls when it start raining then automatically because of that fertilizer and everything you will get beautiful blooms okay so that is the thing guys you have to wait and the you can see the result you don't worry if you have placed the bulbs and they are not getting you just enjoy the leaves the leaves look equally beautiful if you are foli foliage loving uh, person then you will definitely like these leaves also you can just see these leaves are looking really beautiful when they come out of your pot like this yeah so but these uh, if you want the flowers you need to wait guys sometimes what happen if you have got the mature enough uh, um, uh, this uh, bulb then you will definitely get the uh, flowers okay let's go to the seeds guys so uh, what happens is once these flowers are over one see now what happens you can see this flower it has got dried up 
now it starts building the seeds guys so uh, we don't want that right we don't want them to build the seeds uh, but if you are looking for uh, like seeds you if you want to grow from these from seeds it will take very very long time guys very very long time from a seed to turn into a bulb then uh, you can just uh, understand like um, from it is uh, it will take it might take around 2 to 3 years so see uh, after that this will form into like 3 to 4 uh, see here i'll show you can you see this this part of the sleeve ah uh, yeah here you can see see this is completely dried up and from this you will be having these seeds okay there is one seed in this let me just remove it and show you see these seeds they again fall it in the same pot and we'll make the bulbs so this is a seed of this guys this flower they'll get dry up and we'll get the seeds like this yes you'll also be getting the sprouts out of this but turning it into, into a bulb it, uh, it'll take little bit of time okay so we have to wait for that if you're willing to do any experiment and if you want to like grow it from the seeds and you want to see uh, how it grows and all you can just try it out you can just place it in a cocoa pit and vermi compost and you can just grow it like that also guys okay but you will only get the flowers when they are mature enough so you can just try to uh get the bulbs from the nearest nursery and you can go anyhow from the bulbs also it is taking little bit of time to grow yeah but you are an experiment oriented person then you can just go for it okay so like that so coming to the fertilizer guys what kind of fertilizer is needed so it is not that heavy feeder as i told you earlier it is not heavy feeder so you can just give them the fertilizer of uh, you know uh, vermi compost whenever you are preparing a soil and every time in the summer when it starts growing you can see the leaves they uh, in the dormant period they just become lifeless like a they are just growing but they won't be getting new leaves but in the summer what will happen you will start getting new leaves there will be new bulbs guys so at that time what you have to do you have to put handful of vermi compost in every single pot like in this kind of a pot you have to put this much of vermi compost and just uh, till the soil but you have to be very careful that you are not hurting the bulbs guys we have to just uh, build the soil from the corners and just put the vermi compost and uh, if you are doing it with your hand then it is well and good don't um, use any tools it might hurt the bulbs of the lilies okay <laughs> this white lilies is so so beautiful and there this peach lily look at this one this is so peachy it looks so beautiful it has like a baby pink color flower it is very very beautiful so i also we uh, recently used guys i have used a seaweed extract in this so you can just uh, take a liquid seaweed uh, solution that also is in available in the amazon see i'm not promoting anybody i'm just showing you what i'm using in my plants so that is what i have used the seaweed extract in this so uh, you can just uh, put a um, little bit of seaweed uh, solution in the in this plant these are the fertilizer and uh, in this plant i have uh, in this pot i have just post planted all the yellow bulbs see we don't know what kind of flower comes out of what so i am just lucky enough to get all this uh, you know um, to get all this pink colored uh, flowers in a pot in one pot uh, i'm really but in this pot you can see see i have also peach color in this i have also i also have white color there is also an yellow color so i don't know right so i don't know uh, like which bulbs will be blooming like that but if you are like uh, getting it in the nursery with the name of the colors also then it is uh, oh, then it is very good guys see here i haven't seen this since then see how this seed is forming in here you can see see how the but just went off and the seed will remain guys so this is what okay see i'm unable to focus it i don't know why 
yeah see like this it will come okay so this is it guys and that is a fertilizer so if you are giving only that much of fertilizer as i told you it's not heavy feeder like it in a month if you give some fertilizer it is very happy but in the rainy season try to fertilize it little more so that you can get more and more blooms guys and these beautiful these are very very beautiful so this is it about rain lilies guys i hope i just love to do this like this they just shake like that. I just love it. So uh, try to grow these kind of plants, guys. They make really, really, really happy. Growing rain lilies. So uh, and even share the bulbs if you have more. Just share it with your friends and see, so that you'll get immense, immense happiness when they grow in your friends' gardens also. Okay so thank you for watching my video guys please like my video please share my video with your friends and who the people who are growing and the people who are thinking that they are not giving the getting the flowers let them know why they are not getting the flowers so that is the reasons all the reasons i have covered here and the video will become more and more lengthy if i to talk much about it i think i have talked enough today <laughs> ain't it so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet okay bye see you in the next video guys